What's going on guys? Welcome back to my WooCommerce WordPress coding tutorial. So for today, I would like to show you how you can add on a button in your product page so that your customer can contact you directly to WhatsApp maybe for asking a question about the product or maybe if they want to pay offline without using your WordPress uh, payment method. Some of the users would like to use the CDM because they don't have online banking so uh, I faced this issue for some of my clients uh, they asked me to do this and then today I would like to share you how I did it alright so without further ado let's get start uh, open your WordPress project and you can see let's say here is all your WooCommerce and then you go to into product page and they want to add somewhere right here the button to uh, contact to WhatsApp or order through WhatsApp so once the button will be clicked and then it will with, uh, and then this button will redirect you to WhatsApp and contact directly to the sellers uh, asking about how can I pay is possible to pay this product uh, without make a booking in the website something like that all right so first thing first uh, you need to go into your uh, project your WordPress project and I would like to import um, bootstrap to its use of um, of styling because uh, I don't know pretty much to styling with CSS so we can use a bootstrap um, to get use of it all right um, first of all you need to open the uh, WordPress content go for the teams and then you find your teams uh, I'm use a storefront go to your header here and you can add uh, on the top oh I already added I already add this uh, bootstrap uh, link so that you can access the styling without using on a pure CSS so after you done this now let's get into the coding first of all to write a plugin as usual you will need to go to WP content click on plugin and here you're gonna add some no in add some you need to add a new folder uh, let's say this is uh, whatsapp order like that then inside the whatsapp order you're going to create a new file that called um, index or yeah you can, can just put index.php all right now here you're going to start your code so as usual you need to, you need to declare uh, the credential of the plugin so do like this and then you can start with plugin name maybe we can put it uh, WooCommerce WhatsApp like that and then uh, you can put the author name and for this case you just put our channel name programmer one sorry one bis all right and then yeah maybe you can put your version 1.0 yeah and then you close this credential so after you done this what happened to your dashboard uh, your dashboard here you can refresh and then go for the plugin and you can see yeah your uh, whatsapp plugin has been registered to this plugin uh, page okay or maybe you can put your description also uh, wait we we'll put a description also here description uh, maybe you can put push order uh, to whatsapp something like that hmm. alright so refresh back and you can see the description here after you done this you need to activate it so after you activate now you can start code all right the idea is to make this plugin actually you just to need to add a button here uh, that trigger the whatsapp api and then include the link of the product so that uh, the, the owner of this website can directly click to the uh, link and then you can check which product that they want to buy offline or maybe 
buying it without make any payment inside the WordPress or WooCommerce website. So to do that, you need to know the hook of this page. So to know the hook of this page is actually uh, called, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's called uh, WooCommerce after add to cart button or you can Google it by yourself to d define which hook you need to do. So to add the button here, you need to put the add filter function all right so now the filter the hook name is uh, WooCommerce after add to cart button like that and then maybe you can put your uh, function name maybe push to WhatsApp like that and then put the um, or we'll call this a priority just put 10 and then you can start to code the function so declare your function first function add to cart right here All right and then you're going to start to uh, declare the pretext for the whatsapp to generate the pretext for whatsapp you go to this whatsapp generator i will provide this in the description you key in your phone number and then you can key in the pretax like this i already done it all right so i just copy this thing all right and then go to your uh, code again and then declare this pretax pretax like that and then put the string here all right the next thing is you need to put you need to or call that ah yeah you need to populate the button without the pages so just put echo and then do some uh, HTML styling here we can put a and then put a class this class will be use um, the bootstrap so btn btn success for the green button and then yeah so you can p start to pass the href href and then for the href you need to include the pretax so just do it like this pretax okay close it and then um, maybe some space here you can put it and then you start to uh, need to make a function that they can return the current page URL of the product uh, maybe just put it first get url the name of the function and yeah here we go yeah simple as that now the next thing is you need to close the a tag don't forget to close your a tag uh, sorry dash a and maybe you can put here order through whatsapp like that and then after you done that let's try to refresh our e-commerce okay it looks like it's not working never mind let's try to see what happened here um a tag maybe we can cut it out first to see happening I think I got the wrong hook uh, let me check back WooCommerce oh yeah misspell here WooCommerce yeah there is a callback every um, all right let's see mm -hmm. WooCommerce yeah should be here oh yeah it's this one <laughs> sorry all right so now let's just flash it yeah you can see the order to whatsapp there we can undo back i think and then we need to copy this put it here and put it there and try to refresh it i still get it get url because we didn't declare it yet so maybe you can try to cut it cut it first 
and see if it's working yeah it's working here so now undo that back we need to declare this function so just do it like this uh, function oh sorry capitalizer function get url and then here you're going to start to uh, get the current URL of the pages so we're going to use the PHP function um, to do that you need to check the if set, if set first to check either you want to put the HTTP or HTTPS depending on your browser if your browser have a secure SSL then it will become HTTPS so check the if set uh, of the server server HTTPS if the server has the SSL certificate and server got the HTTPS 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 equal to on check it on sorry on and then we're going to pass uh, the URL is HTTPS like that else the URL gonna be oops sorry the URL gonna be HTTP slash slash yeah something like that uh, let's modify our code first all right now after you've done this you need to append um, the host um, to the URL to doing that it's going to be like this as the last line URL is equal not equal I mean dot equal to the server and then just put the HTTP host here there and then also you need to do it for uh, the request URL uh, I mean the request URI dot equal server request URI URI yeah if you've done this you return the URL value right so after you done this then I think it's pretty much it you're gonna be work and then for the href if you want to make it open with a new tab just put the target equal to underscore blank just like that and here we go oh yeah got an error here uh, yeah it's a get URL sorry for the misspell All right, so when we click here, there we go. We start to open it to WhatsApp. Uh, maybe we can continue to the chat. Open the WhatsApp web. And then we will generate the pretext directly to the seller, something like this. All right, you can send it. And then, yeah, you can contact directly to the um, seller without using any booking on this uh, website if you don't have a payment a credit card something like that you want to use a CDM so I think that's pretty much it the WhatsApp plugin for order if you want this plugin I will provide the link of a repository in my description of this video don't forget to like comment or subscribe this channel and then uh, see you in the next episode bye bye